one of the first steps that we always think about when we are optimizing our deal pipeline is how are we going to get those deals started? How are we going to get them into the pipeline to begin with? So on that slide that CJ uh, had at the very beginning, the visual representation of a deal pipeline, you saw the different stages and the cards. And at this point, hopefully you've already set that up in your pipeline, you've established your milestones, maybe even your fields or your properties for the data that you're gonna gather. But again, how are we gonna get the deals in there to begin with? And of course, you could have somebody manually do them, um, but depending on the size of your company and your sales team and your organization, that could be a full-time job, let alone right then and there. So how can we make that more efficient? How can we automatically uh, get deals into your pipeline? Well, as any good marketer or web developer would know, forms are probably the most efficient and the best way to do that, and we'll talk about that in a second. There's some other areas too, like maybe you've set up a chat bot on the site and through a series of questions, you've gotten it narrowed down to, I need a proposal or I need a quote, I'm ready for a demo software, something like that, right? You can automatically get a deal set up in your first stage um, or maybe another stage down the line of needs, needs proposal or scheduled demo software, something like that. But we've automatically then started the process. And through form submissions as well, you can automatically create a deal and get that, that pipeline rolling. Um, you can also automatically assign those deals to the correct people. I think that's a huge step that a lot of people overlook. Depending on your forms, depending on the questions you're asking in those forms, or in this case, the, the information you're collecting, you can get those deals to the correct people right from the get-go. So depending on industry, service, uh, size of the deal, um, and where the deal's coming from. Maybe you've set up a booth at a trade show. Uh, maybe it is a demo software and you have people that are just stronger in that area. They can uh, walk through your, your, your sales and service or your software is better than others and they're, they're gonna close those deals at a higher rate. So you can get those to the right people at the right time. Um, it also helps you with automatically communicating that information internally and externally. So we know as web developers and marketers, when somebody fills out a form, we wanna maybe trigger an email out to go to them right away. Thank you for your submission. Somebody will be in contact with you. That's a pretty basic thing. But what about internal communication? Making sure all that information you collected gets to the right person, whether that be the sales rep, their manager, uh, different department heads or anybody and now we've now started to create some visibility into the deal pipeline as well. So we know what's coming in. As CJ said, marketers, marketing and sales, their job is to get information into the pipeline and then maybe move it along. Um, and we started that process as well. Um, obviously, we're saving time, as I just said, with, without uh, having to manually create deals. And also, it, it establishes consistency right away with the sales process. So sales reps, sales managers can understand what they're going to receive. They are prepared for it, they're ready for it, and they can kind of begin their, their whole process of moving that deal closer to the closed one stage.